Vapor face. What's up, Vape Pam Sortil here. Welcome to the Vaporworks Lab. Vaping on the Kennedy Ruby. Been hunting for one of these for feels like ever. Basically, they don't make these anymore, so you have to go look at the secondhand market. And because of that, everybody tends to price gouge them, or if they don't, there's usually something wrong with them. And I mentioned in my Vindicator video how much I like these, how hard they hit but that I did not own one. Well, Birdman hit me up and said, hey, I've got a black Cerakoted Kennedy Ruby I'm willing to part with, and it has the upgraded square post, which kind of allow for bigger coils to fit more comfortably in the Ruby. And it also doesn't have the tendency to kind of guillotine your coils the way the original rounded post did if you tighten down a little bit too tight on your coils. Jumped all over that. Thanks so much, Birdman, for being willing to part with one. I have not set this thing down since I got it. Actually, it came while I was at work, and my wife called and said, hey, your package from Birdman came in. And I was like, just stick it in my office, and I'll take a look at it later. Well, when I got home, normally my routine when I get home is I'll go give my wife a kiss, wake her up a little bit, because we work opposite shifts, so she's normally asleep when I get home. Tell her about my day, she tells me about hers, and then she goes back to sleep. Well, that night, I just ghosted her. I went straight to my office, and I built, wicked, juiced this thing, and started vaping on it. I did do all the normal stuff after that. I just did this first. It's the only time I've ever done that, but I still feel a little bad about doing that. Uh, but yeah, I've just been using this constantly since I've got it. The vapor production off this is just phenomenal. It hits like a fucking freight train. And if you don't know, the Ruby is basically a Vindicator and a Kennedy 25 RDA, but it's all one piece. They're built together as one thing. So you can't take the Kennedy 25 off the top of it, but you're not going to want to because the voltage transfer is so good with this that it just... It hits like a freight train to the fucking mouth. That's really the only way to describe it. Or it hits like your girlfriend's husband. That's another way to describe it. But I'm loving this thing just a absolute ton. Let me show you some of the vapor production off of this real quick. It's really kind of comparable to some series builds, really. Check this out. Just keeps coming. Just so much vapor. I love this thing so much. Thank you, Birdman. But Kennedy's not the only thing I wanted to talk about today. Also, this Thursday at 10 p.m., the Vaporworks Lab is going live and will be live every Thursday at 10 p.m. This Thursday, we're going to do some live build sessions, but down the road, uh, we'll do some live mixing. When I do live mixing, I know that's kind of a niche for my subscribers. It's a smaller percentage. So we'll do some live mixing. You guys can help me make the e-liquid itself. I'll pick a profile. You guys can help me pick flavorings, percentages, sweetener, all that jazz. We'll mix that up. Then we'll do a build and then we'll test our e-liquid on the build that we just did. So kind of try and have a little bit for everybody. Also, as you can see, I got rid of the big orange table in the back. Uh, that was initially supposed to be for all my building segments of videos. If you go back and watch my nitrous review, you'll see the table was a little shaky. It just wasn't stable enough to keep doing that. Uh, so it really kind of became a catch-all for a bunch of shit. Anything I didn't like ended up back on that table. Uh, the Geek Vape Z ended up back there. The A Temporal RTA ended up back there. And I know you're thinking, you never reviewed the A Temporal RTA. Well, that's because I disliked it so much. The review basically would have been like, you see this RTA? This thing sucks. It's a pain in the fucking ass. The flavor's terrible. It fucking whistles like a goddamn volleyball whistle. I'm throwing it away. And that would have been it. And pretty much everybody already had their review of the A-Temporal. And some more than one. And everyone was pretty much like, we want to love this thing, but it's just so hard. 
and I was of the same opinion, except I didn't really try too hard. Once it just became such a pain in the ass and the flavor wasn't worth it to even keep trying to figure the whistle out or any of the other kind of weird little issues that it had. I just, I didn't feel like wasting my time doing a review for the A Temporal, which is sad because it's the only product from Damn Vape that I, I don't like. Everything else they've released, I've liked. Like, pretty sure literally every other product except the A Temporal. But, you know, move that. Gonna have a new desk back there and it's gonna become my coil building station. Now I'll probably do a video just kind of going over the setup of the table or maybe a live stream going over just the setup of the table. Uh, just to kind of show you guys how to set up your drill, how to set up your vice swivel, all that good stuff. Uh, just where I'm gonna lay everything out. Be a short little thing because it doesn't really take much time at all. But I can kind of go over what swivels I think work best uh go over you know variable speed drills which really any variable speed drill uh that works decent will work for coil making but we'll go over all that down the road i won't do coil building videos or incorporate them into the live stream until i have a better camera which will be a couple of months down the road uh, but i hate it when somebody does a coil making video and they're great at explaining what's going on with it and how you do it but their camera is not good enough to really zoom in on that wire so you can actually see what's going on with that whole coiling process because that way you know what to look for and what it should look like as you're going along so i really want to wait and make sure i have everything i need to do really good coil making videos i know i keep talking about them haven't done them yet but it's just because i want to be able to do them correctly so once I get everything in place, we'll definitely start that. Uh, but coming up this Thursday is just going to be a build session. What we're going to build on is actually one RDA that I've talked about a lot, but I've never shown. Uh, I guess I could have done a rewind review, but for me, rewind reviews are for products that are still on the market. You can still find them pretty easy. But my opinion of them differs from kind of the general consensus. Like I did the Hell Beast because like Mike Vapes loved the Hell Beast, but it seemed like everybody else kind of had a meh type of opinion of it. And I love that thing. I think it is probably Hell Vapes best RDA they've ever done. Uh, so I definitely wanted to throw my opinion in the ring on that one. So if anybody was on the fence or looking at it and like, why do people just think this is okay it looks great you'll at least have mine and mike vape's opinion of hey this thing is great for the most part go take a look at it check this thing out but with this one i would have just been regurgitating what everyone else said about how great it is but we're going to definitely do it in the live build session coming up on thursday and it is the nightmare 25 this is the electric green version and we'll stick this on my black and green splatter dreamer so that will be all kinds of fun. Also, we're definitely going to build the Mongrel Subway Edition. This is a outstanding single coil RDA. Comes with two top caps, the one you see here, and a glass cap. And then it also has two different airflow inserts. This thing is just a fucking banger. Uh, if I'm up to it or you know we still have time, I'm not really going to set a time limit. But as long as I'm awake enough <laughs> and up to it, we're also going to build the Ardent. Now, I finally got another one of these in. Uh, if you don't remember my story, basically I had a stainless steel dreamer with the Ardent on top. I was walking on an elevated platform. Somebody bumped into me. Over the side it went, and it hit concrete. When I finally was able to retrieve it, it was bent just a little bit, and I couldn't get the Arden back off of it. And I was, you know, a little worried that it wasn't really safe to use anymore, so I kind of just stuck it in the closet. Recently got my stainless steel Dreamer back and found that the delightful place I like so much actually had Ardens in stock, and they had the stainless steel one. So this whole bottom section here actually comes off and you can screw the Arden directly into the Dreamer. You just take the 510 hybrid top cap off, screw the Arden down into it, and then the voltage transfer is just phenomenal off of it. It allows the Dreamer to hit way harder than it has any business being able to do. It's not as perfect as far as voltage transfer as, say, the Ruby, because the Ruby's all one piece. There's no threading involved, but it still performs just 
outstanding. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the Arden on anything else. Uh, when you put the 510 connection on it, stick it on any other mod, it's pretty average, maybe a little bit above average, but right in that kind of area. But when you stick it on the Dreamer, where you have that direct connect, it is just a extremely good RDA overall. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass to build, but we'll get to that. Uh, but overall, I really like the Arden when paired with the Dreamer. All right, guys, so that's what we're going to take a look at this Thursday. And every Thursday at 10, there will be a live build session or a live mixing and live build session. And then down the road, once I get a uh, little bit better camera and get everything set up, we'll do some live fucking coil making. I'm anxious to do that because it's the one part of kind of becoming vape self-sufficient I have not been able to go over with you guys yet, but I'm getting there, I promise. All right, guys, that's it. Tune in on Thursday at 10 p.m. for the Vaporworks Lab Live. Vape on, and I will catch you all in the next one.